Let's learn about how rhythm is organized in music. The meter shows us how the beats are organized in a repeating pattern. In the sheet music, this pattern is marked out by the measures, separated by the measure lines. You can imagine a measure like it's a box where you can put in different amount of beats using the different note values and rests. And just like a box, you can only fit so much into it. And there's a limit to how many beats you can fit into a measure. So how many beats can you fit into a measure? Well, that depends on what time signature you're using. The time signature is written as a fraction with a number above and below. The number above shows how many beats you can fit into a measure. If it's two, there's going to be only two beats in the measure. If it's three, there will be three beats in the measure. If it's four, four beats, five, five beats, and so on. And the number below shows what note value becomes the beat. For example, if there's four on the bottom, it means the quarter notes will become the beat. Other note values can also become the beat. For example, if there's an eight on the bottom, the eighth note will become the beat. And if there's a two on the bottom, the half note will get the beat. Let's look at a couple of examples. The 4-4 is the most often used time signature. It means that there are four beats in the measure and the quarter note gets the beat. Because the 4-4 time signature is so common, we sometimes write a C to show that it's in common time. Let's look at another one. 3-4 will mean that there are three beats in the measure and the quarter note will get the beat. Now, let's try something a bit trickier. Let's look at 5-8. So this would mean that there are five beats in a measure and the eighth note gets the beat. And this is how the time signature organizes rhythm into a repeating musical pattern.